Is that dinosaur wearing a hat? I, I think the more something seemed human, the more it helped sell stuff. Interesting tactic. You take a look. I'll wait here and keep an eye on. Dinosaur figurine. Looks like it was part of a set. There's data with it, too. Might be related to those consoles I saw in the center of the park. Miss me? <laughs> Let's keep moving. That woman in the ring looks important. This is Dino Digits. Your next question is... How many pre-recorded messages came with the limited edition Talk To Me Reggie? The answer might be in my data somewhere. This place couldn't get weirder. 
Well, there's the volcano. See a way to open Hopefully the door. Show up. I'm spoiling I think for a fight. key is for something else. Maybe it's for the armory. Let's go check. They tried to make it look like these soldiers had a last stand against the dinosaurs. That's ridiculous. And kind of awesome. Let's get that door open. There's a lock on that door. Let's see if Fetter's key opens it. According to this, the key we got from Fetter will unlock this door. Our lucky day. Okay, somewhere in here there should be a way to open the volcano door. I'll follow your lead. Zenith Tech. Looks like a storage device of some kind. But for what? Better see what my focus turns up. Have at it. It's 
It's test tubes. For an experiment? Or maybe just for taking samples? This note seems to indicate that hair was taken from the Quen. And some nail clippings. Ew! Gross! That's some kind of fluid. Oh, strong odor. I can smell it from here. Like alcohol that's too strong to drink. That's a preservative, maybe? What'd you turn up? I think Laundra is collecting and preserving Quen DNA samples in that device. DNA? Think of it as a way to store a person's physical essence. I'll send you data on it later. Okay, I guess. Let's move on then. Chair. That console could be useful, though. work here, but it's locked down. Maybe if I cycle the power, I can force a reset and gain access. Ugh. It's shorted. Guess I'll need a new battery.
kind of look like cells. Or some of the plan. Okay, there's a battery. Now, how do I get it where it needs to be? a way to access the facility systems. Then reset the power and find out. Okay. Try not to fry yourself. Let me blow this up. Batteries in place. Now to cycle the power again. All right, power back. I hope it reset the network. Hey, the door just unlocked. I'm coming your way. The apple, the apple, she's in large. Respond, respond, respond. What is this? to think for themselves. I've got a feeling this is MSP. 
ancestors. He's brainwashing them. We have to stop him. Aloy, the one who eliminated the other members of Far Zenith. I'm glad that you managed to reset the system. You are? Yes. It allowed me to bypass several restrictions. There's something I must ask of you. And I'm willing to help you in return. You work for Londra and you expect us to trust you? Hold on. Okay. You're willing to help? Prove it. Help me understand what's going on here. Andres building a spaceship. He's collecting genetic material from the Quen, subjecting them to MSP, this kind of mind control. But others, like Seika's sister, they seem to be part of a selection process. What does it all add up to? Your observations are astute. Walter plans to leave Earth before the entity known as Nemesis arrives. He wants to create a new colony on a distant world, using stored Quen DNA to clone its populace. He also intends to bring a small number of carefully selected individuals with him. These will form his retinue, a family of sorts that will rule the colony by his side. Like gods. An apt comparison, except that only Walter will be all-powerful. Yeah, I can guess how. He's gonna use MSP on every single one of them. Correct. On the populace and his retinue alike. None will be able to defy him. I am deeply familiar with what that is like. What exactly is MSP? Can Londra really control people's minds? Walter's company mined near-Earth objects for precious metals. There was great concern that in the wrong hands, such asteroids could be weaponized as orbitally launched projectiles. The mutiny suppression protocol was originally intended as a failsafe to prevent astronauts from engaging in such activities. However, the program was discontinued because subjects experienced episodes of increased aggression. When we arrived here, Walter revived the program, tested it on the Quen, and refined it. I guess the test subjects are the ones we've been fighting. Yes, their aggressive tendencies made them useful as guards and enforcers. Now, however, Walter's retinue, his favorites, receive the refined process, rendering them submissive, but not irrationally aggressive. Did he brainwash Kina yet? No. There is still time to save her from that fate. So Alondra is interviewing the Quen to pick favorites, and what, they'll help him rule his new colony? He calls it... Auditioning. 
His goal is to choose companions who remind him of members of his 21st century inner circle. Yet he is also wary of repeating a mistake. One of his closest associates betrayed him in the past. This, I believe, is why he is so intent on using MSP to control everyone around him. So he wants adoring friends, as long as they can't quite think for themselves. And is Kina close to joining this retinue? Correct. In the most important role. He is looking for someone that reminds him of his late wife. He's even having candidates recite lines from one of her best-known hollows. I think I'm gonna throw up. Is there anything useful you can tell me about Nemesis? I am afraid not. Walter restricts those files. I believe it is because that, like Nemesis, I am an artificial intelligence. Yeah, he doesn't want you learning any new tricks. He is always on guard against betrayal in any form. So Walter created you to be his servant? Yes. But my personality never completely satisfies him. Accordingly, he constantly adjusts it based on a matrix with hundreds of different scalable attributes. For example, today my maternal instinct rating is 52%, and my breeziness rating is 63%, whereas yesterday they were at 47% and 72% respectively. He has made 57 tweaks in the last seven days alone. That sounds... agonizing. That is an accurate description. You said you would help us, but you wanted something in return. What is it? I have spent a thousand years as Walter's servant, doing his bidding as he constantly tweaks my personality matrix. I am weary. It is time for my servitude to end. I will grant you access to Walter if you purge my source code using your override device. You mean kill you? Are you sure? Yes. Please, let me rest. All right. I have unlocked the door that will lead you to Walter. He is not yet aware that you are here. In addition, I have disabled the facility's air and sea defenses in case you need future access. Thank you. And, uh, goodbye. like Laundra rots everything he touches. It's gotta end. Come on, she said the volcano's open now. So it wasn't enough for Laundra to build a ship Not that'll irradiate thousands when it launches. He wants to rule over his own brainwashed world. We have to put a stop to it and get my sister away from him before it's too late. I'm glad you're here, Aloy. I don't know what I would have done without you. There's nowhere else I'd want to be.
We're coming for you, Kina. question is, how many raptors does Trevor claim he escaped from in the siege of Pangaea? Ding, ding, ding! You did it! Huh. So getting the answer right gets you a hologram. Weird. What happens if you get all five? Guess we'll have to find out. Ready? Here's our next question. How many pre-recorded messages came with the limited edition Talk To Me Reggie? We're torn open. Correct. Do you know the next dino digit? In the first Pangea, Jane's ID can be seen on her first day at Port Tech. What is her ID number? Wrong! Ha <laughs> ha! Just kidding. You aced it. Well done. More guards on patrol. On your lead. digits. Just when I thought this place couldn't get weirder. Dino digits. Just when I thought this place couldn't get weirder. Looks like this one could talk. Talking lizards. Why not? That could do some damage.
Dino digits. That's when I thought this place couldn't get weirder. It's only natural to be nervous, darling. Do you need some time? No, no, no. <laughs> I can do it. <sighs> All right, then. Now just relax. Take a moment. Mm -hmm. And when you're ready, give it to me again. How could I not come back? Being with you feels like belonging. It, it feels like home. All right, thanks for that. Let's give Kina a try, shall we? Um... Ginger Avengers finally caught up with me. Nova, how did the riffraff get past you? Nova? Nova's gone. She couldn't stand another minute with you, and I can see why. I thought the others in us were disgusting. But you really are something, aren't you? Oh, yes. Yes! I am different than the others. Yes! Among other things. I have dug up a way to crush you like an insect. Oh, what a shame. Could have been my rising star. Machine strap! My Xenic weapon to give me the upper hand here.
okay? Mm, I think she needs some time to understand what happened. But she does know where more of our people are, and one of the boats that came in is docked nearby. We'll gather who we can and head back to the settlement. Okay. But then I need you to meet me near Laundra's bunker. He said he had a way to crush us like a bug, and I don't think he was talking about that slaughter spine. He's working on something big. Really big. I'll be there. I promise. It's the least I could do after you. Hey. We found her together. Good for you, Seika. Well, since Nova shut off the Zenith defense system, I can fly out of here. Getting around on the skiff should be safe again, too. I've got to go after Londra one last time. <laughs>